Good evening, televiewers. Uh, welcome to Prime R on My Media Prime. We this day are going to be looking at uh, what uh, happened across uh, the nation, the planned September 2nd uh, manifestations with uh, objective to ask uh, President Paul Bia. We are going to be looking at what lessons uh, learned uh, from it. Uh, also, uh, evaluating uh, that uh, move attempt by Cameroonians to show their discontentment at uh, of the way the nation has been ruled for over 38 uh, years. Now, we are going to be discussing this uh, loom topic with our panelists who are already in the house. Walang Michael Abang is in the house. He is a leader. Uh, is a leadership uh, um, coach. Leadership coach, a writer. Okay, he is a leadership uh, coach and a writer. We're glad to have you. Uh, thanks, uh, Ben. It's always an honor for me to be here. Uh, I want to say hello to the millions of viewers who are out there, who are always glued to my media prime, especially at this hour uh, of uh, prime hour. Uh, I want to extend warm greetings to my fellow panelists who are here today. I hope we're going to live up to their expectations. I mean, that's the viewers who are expecting to hear things that are going to edify them tonight. Thanks for inviting me. Okay. Also with us is Andrew Atemi Bako. Who is already seated? He is a Pan Africanist. Uh, good evening and welcome. Thank you very much, Mr. Liu. And uh, we thank all the viewers, all the Cameroonians, the parents, the mother, the fathers, our, 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 uh, our, our citizens, and the citizens of this great continent. We, we thank you all for watching us this hour at the uh, Mamija Pan. Thank you. Also, with us is uh, Pastor Chris Avewuse. We are glad to have you with us, uh, man of God. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Liu, and good evening to all the viewers of uh, Media Prime, to be precise, viewers of Prime R, and uh, good evening to my co-panelists who are in the studio together. Prince uh, Joel is also part of uh, this discussion this evening. We are glad to have you, Prince. Good evening to you, Mr. Liu. Good evening to co-panelists. Good evening to those watching. My media prime and specifically prime R. A special good evening to those in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. Okay, um, just uh, to let our televiewers know that um, yesterday we were not able to do the program live because we were so concerned and involved with following up uh, the arrest of uh, one of us. Tamai Javis was arrested yesterday. He's still in custody out here in uh, Douala, Cameroon's economic capital. He went out uh, doing his job to cover the protest uh, that was uh, announced by CRM leader Professor Maurice uh, Kamto. We hope that he's going to be released and uh, that he joins us to continue doing his job out here. I'll start uh, with you, um, Walang Abang, uh, your assessment of what took place across the nation yesterday. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, my assessment of what took place across uh, the nation yesterday is one of the you know, um, how do I put it? It is one of uh, uh, some kind of fulfillment, political fulfillment of uh, a promise that an opposition leader made to the country Cameroon that on the 22nd of September there was going to be a nationwide peaceful protest. I stress, I underline the word peaceful protest, you know, where Cameroonians were going to express themselves. I mean, those who are uh, in support of his ideology. They were going to express themselves on a number of issues, notably uh, the, the, the modification of the electoral law of Cameroon and then addressing the Anglophone crisis before any uh, reasonable elections can take place and third, to call on the President of the Republic to leave power because according to them, he has overstayed his welcome. Now, my take of that is it is the fundamental right of every citizen of this country and of other countries to express themselves peacefully. And that right is enshrined in the Constitution. And there are international conventions that have been you know, ratified by the country called Cameroon, that's our country, which also guarantee the rights of citizens to express themselves in one way or the other, notably you know, to express their dis uh, discontent through uh, peaceful demonstrations or the right to assemble together and share opinions that are peculiar to them. So I think that it was, you know, 
I, I, I want to say the government did what they were supposed to do uh, by way of, 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 of making sure that excesses do not occur. And we saw yesterday that in Douala, people manifested. People manifested in uh, uh, Bafang. People manifested in other towns in uh, uh, Cameroon. But as far as I'm concerned, I think that there were no excesses. Many of the people who went out to protest were holding peace plans in their hands. It is just a right to express oneself in a country of law. I think for now that's my take. Of yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, okay. Um, what, what's your take on what happened uh, yesterday across our nation? Andrew? Well, Mr. Mr. Liu, you see, until Cameroonians will come to look at Cameroon or Africa from from the Western perspective, because as long as we keep looking at it as Cameroonians, from the point at which we stand, we will misunderstand a lot of things. Because at the end of the day, we talk about the electoral codes and all of that, the constitution and the right for self-expression. Uh, but there are things that Cameroonians are still not, uh, 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 how will I say put it, do not seek the kind of uh, the kind of a uh, change that uh, befits the Cameroonians, as I will still say. Because if you have an individual who feels discontented and uh, calls for a, a, a nationwide protest for people to go out for the reason or the, co or the, or the pretext to oust the president or for the president to come out of power so that they can have a reform of the electoral code and go in for another transparent election. The question I want to ask Cameroonians, because we know that people are frustrated and people are, have, have lived in, in very critical uh, experiences in Cameroon. It has not been a good one, and this has been the, the, the story of every other African country where its population lives under mass poverty. But at the end of the day, I will still say that Cameroonians must be able to sit and think very well, to know the kind of change and the kind of whosoever is a leader that is going to bring Cameroon to that place where Cameroon can compete and meet the rest of the world that is forging its way forward. So the way I look at it, Mr. Liu, I don't think that because we are living in the context of democracy, even if, I will still say, even if Kamto or any other person takes over that same seat, will do even worse or will do the same as what you are seeing the current administration uh, 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 doing today. Cameroonians must understand that the problem is not the leaders. The problem is not the administration. The problem is the system. That means that whosoever is put in that same place, it is a system that controls you. You don't lead the system. You lead the people. And the system leads you because the system is put there not by you. This is what we inherited when the, the, the colonies received their independence, they were given this precondition to have the democratic system in their government, and that is where we are having the civil conflict today and all the opposition parties that are coming up. And to be honest, like I still say, any opposition party under the context of democracy that wants to oust the president is only seeking to get his own share of that elephant that has been killed up there that everybody, every big gun in the Western world is drawing their own share. So what I'm saying here is that it is not wise if Cameroonians will need a change, they should find a reason, a reason which unites the Cameroonians themselves and not under a political opposition party. We saw in Mali, you are seeing in Belarus today, they are not standing behind a political party. The population themselves have decided to say they must do a reform or the, 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 the president in Belarus must resign because the elections were rigged. That was not behind the political party. In Mali, we saw a coup whereby the people went out a nationwide process not behind the political party and when the military saw that this was the population not an opposition party they had to ask the president to step down and so what i'm saying here is that let no man in the in the, in the notion because we are desperate to feel that a uh, 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 true the 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 the, 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 the Camtos party help is going to come to Cameroon. I want to ask a question here, Mr. Liu, which is a question I really like to ask Camto. What is his vision? I heard him say that he wants the Cameroonians to be able to choose whosoever they want to be their leader. But my question here is, what does Camto want to go and change in that system? 
This is a system he has been, and this is the same system he became a lawyer in Bakasi and made a lot of billions from that Bakasi as a lawyer. The question I want to really know is that what is the kind of change that Kamto wants to bring okay. when he was in the administration? He could not influence from the inside. Okay. So okay. I'm saying here that mm. we don't want this kind of destabilization in Cameroon. If Cameroonians want a change, they should find a need that binds them together mm. to go out and not behind an opposition party. Okay. That is what I'm saying. Okay, um, uh, please, uh, Joel, before I get to you, uh, does this, what he's saying, does it tie with what uh, Madame Kawala uh, says, that there is need for uh, a coordinated uh, move by all the uh, political and civil society um, factions to get a common a common uh, ground to seek for the change that Cameroon it. Sure, Mr. Liu, without much uh, I listen to Madame Kawala, mm. it's true she's entitled to her opinion mm. and she maybe knows why she took that stand, but uh, I, I think that when you look at maybe the reasons that come to advance, mm -hmm. it is very true that every Cameroonian maybe thinks that the reasons he advance are to a very greater extent pertinent. Mm -hmm. He talks about the crisis to be resolved before any elections and we cannot again see that there have not been a crisis for four years now mm -hmm. and that we cannot authoritatively say that elections have held in these areas free, fair and transparent. And secondly, he talked about the electoral system, and we also know that when you look at the electoral code in Cameroon, at times it becomes very difficult, if not impossible, to unseat the president via the ballot box. Now, where I have a small problem with, the, with it is the fact that <clears throat> he is coming up as an individual. That's why a majority of persons like the Madame Kawalas felt that, no, you don't change a system by imposing yourself. Let it be collective, collective in such a way that let the Cameroonians, first of all, go to the streets and demand for Bias, Bias to leave power, mm. and then now elections should come up mm. for a new president to come. That is why I think Kawala, when I look at that standpoint, I think she had her reasons, and I think she's correct, because it is very true that Cameroonians are thirsty for change. It is very true that many people will maybe not one that Biash will be in power, mm. but that Biya leaves power and the substitute is directly come to, that's where the problem comes in. Because if he called on Cameroonians that, okay, let us move and ensure that Biya leaves power and then let's now have elections, or rather let have, have elections and see who becomes the next president of Cameroon, I think it would have been uh, better. But Mr. Liu, when you look at this outing now and of yesterday, they supposed announced outing, the repercussions have been felt all over. The consequences are enormous. Whereas, you see, he said he had, he was under house arrest. Whereas, amongst all those arrested, is neither amongst them. So it's uh, somehow, uh, I think that those who maybe said that Kamto should lead the protest, it is very true that from contacts we have, or those who struggle to contact mm. within the party will say that he was under house arrest, mm -hmm. which I cannot confirm because I was not in Yaoundé. The sources say he was, his entire building was surrounded. That is why he did not match. But truth be told, it would have been better, if not best, if he actually led the protest to ensure that Cameroonians should know that this is what is actually what we want as change. But mm -hmm. we did not see him. And when you look at what is happening today, it's so more because a majority of innocent, let me put, though not all, a majority of some persons who may be innocent were just moving around the streets. And maybe coincidentally, there was a protest around that area and they were being held. You, you, you will want to believe that a very poor woman who maybe manages a small bucket of granite and sends the child to go home, where does she start from? Because the, the, the whole thing now is they protested. How do you? distinguish or remove yourself from me that no i was not actually going to march i was uh, it's just like i found myself when the protest was ongoing that's where the whole problem is coming from because mm. i feel that cameroonians a lot of people have actually been taken because of the march yesterday whereas we did not actually see him in the field okay uh you live in uh, Douala. what is the assessment that you would give uh or make of uh, the protest in Douala? Okay, um, actually what I saw yesterday, where it was, there were some manifestations.
around Dokoti, mm -hmm. and then we also uh, heard there was some manifestation around uh, Mabanda. Mm -hmm. I think it should be these two places where there were really some agitations. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we look at what used to ha what happened in 2008, if you compare it with what happened yesterday, mm -hmm. you see that what happened in 2008 was more intense. More people went out than yesterday. Mm -hmm. And if you ask why, uh, it's simply because the government has succeeded in their intimidation strategy. You know, before this thing came up, we heard the minister, he was so firm, he threatened anyone who would <laughs> dare to come out. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's a strategy which the government has, intimidation. When they intimidate, they scare people and people don't go out. I even watched uh, one of the posters that was published by under the website of the B. Uh, and they said in French, they had the tag, le B vengeré. I saw it. I think I even had a, I have a copy of that. You see, when you hear that kind of thing from the B, you know, B is like I hope, I hope, the most I hope dreaded. It is, I hope it is from the authentic uh, website, website of the B. Yeah. It's not fabricated because yesterday there was no B element. Those that were in charge yesterday were elements of the National yeah, General I think uh, that's the website which they have been that's, posting so many things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it was entirely a mixed, not so religion down, it was yeah, an entirely mixed men in no, uniform. Yesterday, and yesterday, and yesterday, yesterday I took the pains, I, I, I took the pains yesterday to move around. Everywhere there was a grouping. Yeah. There was a national gendarmerie the and the police. And there were also, yeah, and there were... Yeah. Well, you see, so when you look at all that, you see that the government has yeah. really succeeded yesterday in scaring people from coming out. And if we have to live in a country where people are gripped with fear, it means they are not free. It means people have been taken hold, uh, they have been held captive. Mm -hmm. Because if you are in your country, you should feel free to go out and manifest. If you are disgruntled with one policy or the other, you should feel free to step out and manifest. That's what happens in the Western world. You find people, uh, there, was a, there was a manifestation in France, and people were asking Macron to, re to resign. Yeah. Because this, to, to them, he had failed in his policies. Did, 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 and did, did, they were not arrested. Did the, French, not, did the, French, did, did the French, not, yeah. did the French police not repost? No, they came out to guide the people to make sure that they don't go out, they don't step out of bounds. Okay, you know, but I, I think, think I that think, I think we should do fine is because I think that thousands of persons are still being locked up because of you're talking about religion. The yeah. who are still locked up because I, of that. I, I feel that people should feel free and mm -hmm. air out their grievances in a non-violent way. Okay. I think our government needs to get to that level where they can create an atmosphere where Cameroonians can feel free. People could have gone out and marched yesterday mm -hmm. and after that returned to their homes. So if, because look, let's not forget that things started like this in Northwest and the Southwest. People went out, the lawyers went out and they were met with uh, serious, um, uh, they, were, they were rough handled. Mm -hmm. And uh, things began to change until today. Lawyers, their voices are no more heard. Teachers' voices are no more heard. It's the guys in the bushes that are speaking, you know. Can I curate? Because they have guns, yes. Now, um, let's take the case of the lawyers and teachers. Uh, what was their objective? And then when you look at the match of uh, yesterday, what was the objective? The objective was to ask the president of the republic. Yes, and they are free. people should feel free to, to say they don't want because if you give because we believe that power belongs to the people mm. because the president is a president because he has seventy eight percent from he had seventy eight percent votes mm. from when you compare that's what he said and if you have seventy eight percent of the people supporting you mm -hmm. then you should be calm if there is any up, if there is any manifestation then you know that you have 78% of people who are backing, backing you. you. Yeah. So if you if you come to us 14%, why should you be intimidated by 14%? Okay. You should relax and let the 14% go and make their noise. And after that, they can get back to their, to well, their places, uh, to their homes. Well, I want us to look at uh, the participation of frontline leaders. Uh, did we see enough of what we expected from those who called for these manifestations across... Um, the nation. Yeah, um, uh, Bin, I want to answer your question by looking at it this way. I said, you know, uh, a moment ago that um, there is the spirit of this uh, peaceful protest march. Mm. You know, Cameroonians and many people, detractors, you know, 
they are looking at the fact that people went out too much. Let us be educated on one thing. Mm. The thing is, it is the absolute right of people to protest peacefully and it is the duty of the administration to accompany the people when they are protesting. So, the spirit of a protest is not only the march past. If you look at this, from the time when the march, the, the protest was announced, the protest uh, march was announced in Cameroon, there has been a lot of mobilization. And this mobilization is some kind of conscientization. It is not only the going out, you know, to march on the streets. It is to sensitize both the people it's an education, uh, educative process mm -hmm. to sensitize both the people and the authorities that be that there are different ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. Doing one thing, you know, consistently for 28 or 38 years, that doesn't render results. A moment should come and Cameroonians should sit down and talk. I don't think that, you know, this, the spirit of this uh, manifestation was just going out to uh, walk on the street. I am sure the government has very wonderful, brilliant people who will sit down and take stock of what has happened. What led us also to this place, even though we succeeded to use the uh, forces of law and order to deter the protesters. But you know, why have we come this far? I think that is what we should be looking at also. It is not only whether they succeeded to march and break places. We know people should not break places. Before. But that is not a question I ask. You don't want to answer my question. I'm asking. Please, please cue me again. No, you are talking. You are giving the metaphorical significance yes. of the match. That's you are saying that though physically, people did not come out, but to some extent, looking at it from the cognitive yes. uh, perspective, there is an impact. Uh, yes, there yeah. is an impact. Okay, mm -hmm. but my question to you is: When you listen to Wilfred Ikanga, yes. I'm sure you've listened to that audio yes. where he's asking that I know Dwala so well. You people told me that you have arranged ladies, women who are going to lead this thing. We have Ben Skinners. We have this. Where are the people who came out? That is a core member of the movement that was leading the strike. He is asking why the population is not coming, which means that the spirit was for a massive outpouring out there. They expected the population. I, I got, I got the, I got the uh, this thing, the extract, uh, an extract mm -hmm. of uh, with with uh, with Kanga, Kanga, yeah. uh, this thing. Mm -hmm. But I want to say that you know the question should be double faced. No, double no, faced. no, 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 double, double oh, no, 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 uh, no. You are taking the, 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 the once again. You are taking both the debate. You are taking the debate. I ask a question. Mm -hmm. You are asking. You, you are posing your own question. I'm no, I'm saying that. I'm asking the question. You say the question should be. No, no. See, listen. Yes. The question. The question. Mm -hmm. Right. The question is wonderful. It's good. It makes sense. You understand. Mm -hmm. But if you limit it to the come to come or to the protesters to answer, okay, I think that it will be a little biased because <laughs> there was a muscular. I mean, before the protest, we have seen, you know, uh, 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 this thing. Yeah, give me the answers now. Yeah. There, there was a muscular, yeah. there was a muscular response even before the day of the protest, where the Mami Watas and the whatever <laughs> were stationed <laughs> in almost every junction in the cities of Douala and Yaoundé. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this has a scary effect on people who want to come and protest. <laughs> Let me put it very clearly so that Cameroonians should understand. To say that Bia must go is not an effective departure of Bia. Cameroonians can say from today till tomorrow, it is their absolute right to say Bia must go. But it doesn't mean that Bia is effectively going. Please let us get it very clear so that they, they, we don't get confused. Along is, that the what, is, that, is that what you think? No, or is that, that is if, what, if Kanto that says, what, if Kanto is says, that what, is, that what, protest. is that what you think or you are interpreting what Kanto said? So because that, no, that I think because a, 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 an official of the CRM was here day before yesterday and he is not saying what you are saying no i uh, the of I of CRM, an independent of, of, observer, of, of, of crm mm -hmm. must not look at the, I, i'm yes, talking about, an I'm talking about observer, the, the, the crm you mm -hmm. that, that you brought me here to you know give my shed mm -hmm. light on how i look at the uh, thing so i must not look at it from the perspective of the crm mm -hmm. and that's what i've been saying consistently that the effect of this protest is being felt on both camps so if you do a distinct analysis, no, no, analysis. No, 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 I prepared, I prepared questions. There is a time okay, we are going to come to the effect. I ask the outing. No, we oh, are no. going. We are going step by step. We are assessing 
Can I add yes, my boy? Because you, 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 you're so no, we free uh, a kangas, uh, this thing. Mm. I, I think that uh, Mr. Liu, like he was saying, and I think he was in line with your question, let us be honest. The first aspect is that you don't expect that in less than one week, you have communiques from two different ministers, from three governors, all, nearly all the divisional officers, warning people to come out. That's the mm. first. Okay. Secondly, proud to eat on the eve of that day. Some of us were in Douala. We lived the event. They were first of all what they call it, the indicators, informants that was in, on all areas whose objective were just to get rumors. I, a guy who used to sell coffee, this uh, Muslim tea, the, the warm, they call it shy, mm -hmm. at the Eco Public. He be, I don't know whether it was a coincidence or what, what a t-shirt written on in 22. Till day they don't know whether that guy is a, took him in front of people before that day even. So those actions and the heavy deployment the last time I saw what I saw, because the way people were dressed, I had the impression that they were going for a war front. They were uniform officers were dressed with all gadgets, all heavy. We, 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 we everything prepared. It, I had the impression that Cameroon government was to fight a war with another country. That's the impression I had. So you don't expect that. At early as 6 a.m., you don't only see a young, maybe a young police inspector you see commissioners with five stars standing at junctions. It goes to tell you that it was not something to joke with. I think that is what actually made people that scared people. So that does it. That scared people who would have loved to come out. Mm -hmm. But notwithstanding, some courageous ones actually came out. But now, what was the repercussion? That's what we're talking about. And like a uh, 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 man of God was saying, I think that. At a certain moment, if you are electorally or, or like you put it, like constitutionally you're voted, and people feel that they should come peacefully out, give them the opportunity. Okay, I'm coming back to you. Now, my, my initial question to you um, that he refused to answer is, the absence, uh, did you see those who called for uh, this uh, strike leading uh, the movement? Because we know that uh, for uh, political parties, we have political party leaders, and uh, we have a civil society organization, so uh, Mr. Andrin, uh, who were supposed to have led these uh, structures. We have uh, regional uh, leaders. Uh, did you see them taking the front seat of the manifestations? I think that's a very intelligent question because he, with the notion that he was being, he was taking house arrest. I think that's a child's play. If you have organized people to go out, and at the end of the day, you said. You could not go out because you were taken on house arrest. I think yeah, away from come to, I don't want us to focus. No, 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 we are coming. We are, we are okay. we're moving from, from stage to stage. Mm -hmm. So that is really what I have been telling Cameroonians, that at the end of the day, every leader who seeks for change and is calling people to go out and protest should state clearly his vision and his will because we are expecting that that leader's will already gives the people a future hope that when he dies and the people succeed in that protest, this is what will come after. And at the end of the day, today we talk of innocent and individuals who, out of zeal, without knowledge, out of courage, without, uh, 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 how would I put it, foresight, went out and today they have been now either victimized or have been arrested. But these key leaders who call people to go out are still living comfortably in their homes, even as we speak right now. As a matter of fact, I think that if, if, if for example, a man like Kamto said he had a house arrest, he actually enjoyed it because a day before that, I would not sleep in my own house. I should have been somewhere out where nobody knows where I am. You only find me on the street on the next day. You did not need to be in your house knowing that by all odds, the government will definitely come and hold your house arrest because they don't want the people to go out on the city. Cameroonians don't understand That's this. Beautiful. So what I'm saying okay. here is that so, if Kamto had so. wanted people to go out, Kamto himself would have not made his position known to anybody. That's they would have seen him at the forefront that same day that the protest was supposed to be carried out and not the lives of innocent people and the, 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 the mortgaging the, the lives of uh, 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 children of other families that they are crying today. Like we are talking here of the young Javis here. So what I'm saying here is that this is where our leaders have been... Javis, you know, go out this is, um, is... He went out to cover the event. He was Please arrested. allow, me, allow me, allow me to talk. The context is not there. 
Allow me to talk. It was an event that drew our journalists out. After the, 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 the government had, for the sake, for the purpose of law and order, because what I'm saying, Mr. Mr. Liu, is that if Cameroonians, under the spirit that they have seen by themselves that change needs to come to Cameroon and decide to go out, it is different. But if it is that they are going under an individual who has made a declaration that there should be a mass protest nationwide and finally himself did not show outside there, I think that it is, it is, it is, it is to me, it doesn't make too much sense because the, uh, the question here is whose view are you expressing? What is the expression? That is the, the freedom of expression is on whose view, whose interests are you expressing? That is what is at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, we are saying that people are going out because Kamto has said that is foolishness. When somebody tells you to go and do something and he himself doesn't do it. And that is why I say that to me as an analyst. The problem here, as many Cameroonians will say, is not about beer. It is the system. Put Kanto there. When Kanto was a lawyer in this Bakasi issue, what has Kanto done for Cameroon with the money he made there? A leader that we are fighting today to be in power, which is Kanto, as many people are calling him the savior, what has he done in the local communities in Cameroon that we can see clear signs of leadership? When this Anglophone crisis started there, what did he do? Did he rally people here in the French zone or around the, the eight other regions to protest that the uh, uh, justice should be given to the brothers and sisters down there? No. When there was a 2018 election, he saw the, the need of that crisis, that Anglophone would stand behind him. He went in for that election. Why did he not boycott that election? He wanted to boycott, uh, boycott but the regional election because he sees that he's losing. So what I'm saying here is that Cameroonians should stop this, uh, 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 how would I call it, mentality of, of being told what to do. They, if they don't see the need for the change to come to their own country, then you are going nowhere. Because at the end of the day, there is nothing as peaceful process which at the same time has an alternative to oust the president. If, even if it's Kanto there, ask Kanto, he will tell you, if he is the one in that power, he will do even worse or he will do the same. Okay. Now, I want us to look at, uh, since we are evaluating what happened yesterday, uh, Professor Maurice Kanto, two days before, before the date of yesterday, actually gave, made public a communique which stated that he was not going solo. He was going with a coalition. <coughs> Excuse me. Coalition of uh, civil society and political platforms. Did we see that coalition out yesterday? Mr. Liu, the, we didn't see them. That's the truth. We didn't, okay. yeah, we didn't, we didn't actually see some political <coughs> parties. So say major political parties. Yes. We saw PAP. Uh, yeah, but PAP was voice also a solo, a, solo, a solo action. Did yeah, we see we, a coalition come out? Mr. Liu, I'm coming to your question. I'm saying that... I'm answering to him. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm saying that if we only look at the strict sense, we may not to an extent say we actually saw a coalition. It's true that some political parties like the PAP, we saw Fabrice Lena out. And... But when I actually diagnosed the whole system, Mr. Liu, uh, the, 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 the final thing I had in my mind is that something did not go on well. Because when you have a lady like Marceline Gomen of Rida who has been at the forefront of demanding human rights that they should be restored in Cameroon, mm -hmm. comes now to contradict what Kanto was demanding, which to me, I felt was in line with her vision she used to have. I start asking myself, what went wrong? Given that I know my country, I will not, without a source, say that certain things went through, but what would have pushed somebody whose objective has been right to defend rights, right, right, not to support the idea. Same situation with Madame Edith Kabawala, who is with the, the, the Standard for Cameroon. The motto of Standard for Cameroon is clear. No to elections, yes to political transition. Now, if somebody comes up with a vision that is not far from political transition, and instead of backing the vision, you back out. It, 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 it's like in Cameroon, we have the impression that it is going to take time for the civil society, for politicians to come together as one man and think for the future of Cameroon. I want to believe that, Mr. Leo, if what actually happened yesterday, if some of these major political parties, I don't want to say some are small, if some of these 
major political parties. You have the SDF. You have the PCRN of Cabral Libi. He has five five parliamentarians. And the UDC, the, the, the UDC of Adam I want to look at a situation whereby people of the UDC came out in the noon, for instance. Mm -hmm. You know that UDC is the, is, is the Bamun. Mm -hmm. And without any tribalistic uh, mm -hmm. words here, the, if, if the Bamun man says we are, there is no looking back. They, they just keep following together. Now, we didn't see them come out. The SDF have to maintain their stand. And if you had Denis Kenimu here, who made stands that we are not, we don't believe in taking power through the streets. And when you look at it, Minsi says they can get it through the ballot box. The SDF is old, it's 30 years since creation. Now, the SDF is mature enough to have known that it is to an extent difficult or impossible to house the president via the ballot box. Mm -hmm. But when you see them not supporting the idea, the question I asked myself, given what I saw yesterday, Mr. Leo, is what is happening to Cameroon? Because my major anger in this whole system, that's why I find even my voice, is the fact that innocent people, <laughs> because I was at Lejong today, I saw women crying. I was there in Bonanjo. I saw mothers crying. Some have gone to Bonaberry, struggle to go to areas they don't know where their children are. And originally, these are not children who were protesting. That's my bone of contention. Because the real people who brandish themselves that they what are going, say? yes, that are going to come out. <laughs> I don't even want to look at the umbrella, Camp. Maurice Camto. Mm -hmm. I want to look at even That's some of my leaders. Yes. That's I, what I, I, ask, don't yes. look, I just even want to look at some of my friends mm -hmm. who authoritatively, even off stage, Told me that, but even in a way, I'm more common. But it, it was like that. That's my problem. You understand? You look for them yesterday. Yeah, I look for them because those who followed my, my, my Facebook page and even on certain forum, as early as 6 a.m., I was out already and I took my pictures. I'm going out, but I was going for my job not to match. I was going to cover the event to see how things were unfolding. But I was taken aback that when I left where I stay in Bepanda, right to Bonaberry, the streets were completely deserted. And let us be honest that uniform officers were only at major junctions. Yes. Why did people not even come out in the quarters? You understand? Because the whole economy was paralyzed yesterday. Mm. At around uh, 12, Mr. Lowe, you agree with me, I was at Mbopi. We were there together. You, at Mbopi, that is, how do I put it, it's one of the, 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 the heart, mm. so far as transaction of business is concerned, was completely locked down mm. why because people know generally that when there is something like a protest there are people whose intentions are not genuine some people get into it and start stealing but if professor maurice comes to i have nothing against him neither do i have anything against militants of his party what he called for to me i think that he was right in his thinking but why did we not see or just maybe a bucket of granite where does she begin from? Okay. Um, you were raising the issue of comparing yesterday's outing and that of uh, 2018. And you think that um, yesterday the case was different. Um, Celestine German severally says that these things are not planned. Do you think there was a wrong strategy? Because 2018 people just came voluntarily and, cons and consistently. Uh, Celestine German has said that when you call people that I am going, like he said, people have the impression that they are coming up because of you. You know, uh, every country has its uh, uniqueness. Yes. And when you look at what happened in Mali, mm -hmm. it was somebody called for it. Mm -hmm. if, it if somebody must spearhead a move, so somehow we should not be talking about uh, the, the fact that it just happens. Things don't just happen. There are mm -hmm. people at the helm of it who make things to happen. Sure. And in Cameroon, if you look at the political party leaders, most of them have been very quiet. You see, the only person who has been focal and who has been at the forefront of putting pressure on the government mm -hmm. is Maurice Camto. Mm -hmm. So all the other politicians are relaxed and they are having, it's like they have gotten what they wanted. So they are Let's sitting see. and enjoying themselves. And it's Maurice Camto who is, who is making news. You know, we have uh, people who make news. I think he is a, a newsmaker. Now, when you look at it very well, like they say, there was, there was something that my brother was saying there, which I want to like, uh, 
uh, jointly agree with him. For instance, the, the opposition, if you look at what happened yesterday, you see that somehow the opposition, the, uh, Maurice Camto's party failed. Like he said, if you're organizing a protest, if you know the history of pr protests, you understand. For instance, we have here Jean-Michel Nietzsche. Mm -hmm. That is one of the, those in Douala here who has always championed uh, this street protest mm -hmm. for the SDF. Whenever he says, I'm going out, he will do his best to go out. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, he, on several occasions, he has been held under house, house arrest. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't you know, come out. He, he come I think out. Maurice Camto would have learned from what used to happen mm -hmm. with Nietzsche. And he would not have slept in his house. He would have been somewhere else. Because I saw a video where he was on the street and he said, that tell your, par <laughs> tell your parents that they should come out and sacrifice like me because I want to come out and sacrifice for my children. Mm -hmm. That was a good video. Where did he stand to do that? He was out. He was on the street. So why could he not know that? Then, that, that he, it was so wrong for him to stay in his house that night knowing what may be for him in the morning. I think that's where they fail. But Mr. Lee, I want to say something. Mm. Uh, to be truthful, to be honest, if you look at the opposition leaders in Cameroon, they are very selfish. They are, very, they are greedy, greedy people. These are interest-motivated people. They are not, they don't have the heart for the people. You see, that's why we should not trust these politicians. I just believe that if we want, <laughs> if we want to change Cameroon, let us, let us dump all these politicians in the dustbin. All of them. I can tell you the truth. Because these people, they don't have the interests of the people. If they had the interests of the people, they will unite to fight the common enemy that they look at to be the enemy. Look at what is happening in Ivory Coast. All the opposition leaders have come together. They, they want to stop uh, Alassane uh, Ouattara from taking the third term. Mm -hmm. But here, you see, in 2018, we expected the opposition parties to come together and form a common front so that they can they can be able to, so that we can have a, a, a change of leadership but all of them they, since they, they are looking for what to get what to bite so they cannot agree for them for, for instance everybody would have come out yesterday or all the other parties would have joined uh, crm but the crm has uh, many leaders let's let's forget about uh, professor maurice come to where were the other persons, the uh, other leaders? They have, they have many of them. Of course. Where were they yesterday? That, that, that's the question that they should, they should answer because we did not see them in the field. Contrary to, the, to how they have been ranting on Facebook, we, they have been making a lot of noise on Facebook, and we thought that yesterday was the opportunity for them to come out and match their words with actions. The previous, but pre they did previously, we saw the likes of uh, Michel Doki leading the, the action, we saw persons like Jamen taking to the shit. But yesterday, they were, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure that Selezen Jamen is no, no more considered as a core member of the CRM. Yeah. If you look at it very well, you see that he's, Where were the others? he's like an outsider mm -hmm. for the moment. Was this guy, the guy and was and even, uh, yeah, I think that they, they should know why they didn't come out. And I think those are some of the things that should make people to start doubting them. Because if you were make so vocal that let's go out, let's go out, and they they, 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 they they don't find you, it means you are not somebody who is worth emulating because leadership is by example. Mm. But if you cannot set a good example, all of us all of us have raised uh, the issue of um, the muscular nature of the repost by the government to uh, what was announced uh, yesterday. But you raised the issue that uh, severally we've seen the government react to any pronouncement that was made by Jean-Michel Nietzsche for such a move, Kawala the same, consistently the SDF, we've seen it in the past. When you say, I want to ask President Paul Bia, and you call for people to go down to the streets, what, according to you, should be your expectations from the government? Muscular, indeed. Yeah, really, that, that, that's what I said from the beginning, that Anybody who is surprised with the response of the government is mm -hmm. a bit naive. Permit me to use this word, it's a mm -hmm. bit naive, because the government from time immemorial, I mean, not, it's not only Cameroon, mm -hmm. Man, even in the U.S., we saw, you know, uh, 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 President Trump invoking the uh, national the military, guard, yeah. you know, the military, that mm -hmm. at a certain point, if the protesters did not, you know, compact themselves well, the military was going to be uh, used to quell down the protest. So In France, we saw uh, what happened with no, the gilets in, in France, the, the issue with the gilets is, you know, the gilets had been manifesting for a period of time mm -hmm. until they said that if they had the opportunity to enter Elysee, they would enter. You know, that uh, the Elysee is invaluable. 
people as the presidency. The presidency in, mm -hmm. in France. So that is when they said, that's when the French government said, no, 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 this is becoming too much, you know. To stop this from happening, we have to start arresting some of the key leaders. That's how they started arresting some of the key leaders. So I am definitely not surprised. That's why I'm, I want to, you know, be, I want to moderate this discussion mm -hmm. by beginning from, uh, you know, uh, to, from where uh, Mr. Ibako uh, uh, ended. Truly, I am, I mean, personally, I am very disappointed with Maurice Kanto. I am a leadership uh, uh, personality. A leadership, they say, a leadership says, let us go. A leadership doesn't say go ahead you know it doesn't point a place and say go he takes the people to the place and makes a point but yesterday whatever happened in cameroon we felt you know they, 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 they we did not see that leadership of maurice Camto that was expected by cameroonians but i want to differ with him on a certain little uh, issue mm -hmm. a system is built around a person there is a system now in place which is very solid built around one particular person almost like a personality court when that person departs from there and the next person comes he can begin to build another system it is true there are lobbyist groups that may be international that control you know what the system decides and stuff and that's what we're talking about in cameroon now that there, there is a system that has been there for a particularly long time and the this thing uh, 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 how do i call it their influence their power the the, the atrocities really permit me to use this word has been going on for so long. Cameroonians desperately need some other person or persons, even if they are from the same, uh, this thing, to come with a view, just like in uh, uh, Gabon, Ali Ben Bongo is the son of uh, uh, Omar Bongo, but when he came to power, he had another perspective of the development of uh, uh, Gabon. Even though he's not meeting all the expectations of those, the Gabonese, but at least he's gotten a little more support because they are seeing how he is actually bringing the development on the ground. So, what would have been expected of Kamto is this present leadership, meaning that Kamto should have used all the necessary the, 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 the means available at his uh, disposal to make sure that he's on the field with the Cam uh, uh, Cameroonians, that he encouraged to go out on that 22nd, that famous 22nd of uh, September, yesterday. By failing to be there, by failing to be there, I saw Alben Zongang, but Alben Zongang is not uh, uh, the, the, the leader. Uh, uh, He's uh, just uh, an the video Abe, he did, yes. you could, you so, could, so, so by you failing, could see maze behind. Yes. I, I saw the video. And so, so by failing to be there, I think that that leadership that Cameroonians expected, that's a major failure. I think that's the thing that Cameroonians must capitalize on to uh, 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 point out that this kind of leadership may not be the kind of leadership that we need. Mm -hmm. Even though even though what he's saying is absolutely right, mm -hmm. it is the fundamental right of all Cameroonians to express themselves peacefully, mm -hmm. to assemble, to meet, and to ask that Paul Bia should leave. Yeah. Even though technically Paul Bia is still there, it is their right to demand that. Yeah. I think but, we clear but, about but it. Prince, uh, Prince, what what do you find uh, wrong with uh, with with uh, Alben Zonga? At least he came out. We saw him. Prezi, you know, Doctor Miles Monroe once said that a group of lions led by a sheep will always be defeated by a group of sheep led by a lion. Mm -hmm. The problem is who is ahead. Mm -hmm. And history has made it very clean and clear. If in Ethiopia, Ethiopia could succeed against the imperialists, it was thanks to Menelik II. Go to all, everything. Mm -hmm. If apartheid died in South Africa, it's because Nelson Mandela spent years in prison. What my, 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 my issue is the fact that I wanted to see Maurice come to in the field. When Maurice Kamtho did his trip in Europe and came back at Grand Mule, I covered. He was just some metals close to me, like you're sitting. If you saw the moment crowd that came out, it told of a people who are eager and thirsty of change. And like uh, one of God Riley puts it, he has a following. That's one thing we should say. Why? Because Cameroonians think that the other political parties as of now cannot deliver. And repeatedly, they've seen Maurice Camto as the Messiah. Yes, but he was under house arrest. Did he not strategize uh, well enough? Yeah. Uh, no. What I want to say is, what I want to say is that 
this is the first thing. Before now, Mr. Liu, we had already spoken about the 22 of September when you had me on this platform. Mm -hmm. There is, and that is one thing that Paul Eric King, who is today, had loggerheads with Maurice Camp, who I mean, Celeste Germans, who are today had loggerheads. I doubt if a revolution to oust a president has ever been announced. It is only in Cameroon I saw. Because I know that things like that are spontaneous. Mm -hmm. And you saw the crowd that came the day Maurice Kanto was in Douala. You were which, there. Was, which was spontaneous. Yeah, yeah, I'm, which was spontaneous. Mm -hmm. yeah. That kind of a crowd. Gather all the military and borrow even the military from Chad or France. You will not kill those people. If the people who were there came out yesterday, that Kanto just told them, we are taking it now. And that those, because we was a Gramulen, the people were there right up to a court public, and people were down here right at a uh, 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 Camtel. You, you look at the number of people. But if you just said, okay, let us go, we are going to Yaoundé, or let us start with the governor's office, let us start here, you cannot kill that kind of people. But since a date was already set, that's why I see a blunder in it, first of all, the fact that he set a date wasn't correct, because there's an example I gave you the last time. Take even a toddler, a child that is still taking breast milk. If you pull that child away from the mother's breast, that child is a child. The child is going to normally cry. It means you're taking him or her from the comfort zone. You don't expect any president, whether dictatorial, whether elected, normally or not elected, to sit and tell you, come and take me. It has never happened. So there was a mistake, first of all, at the level of announcing the date. And the greatest blunder to me is the fact that those who are the ringleaders, those who are supposed to spearhead, we did not see them. When I watched the video that Abel Zongan did, <laughs> I'm not criticizing him, that's what I said before now. <laughs> My, I'm not a politician. Maybe politicians can say he failed, but I don't do politics. When I saw the video, behind Abel Zongan, I could see me. <laughs> and it tells you that that video was done in a suburb in Yaoundé. I would have expected to see that video. Uh, was, he was only in, in Douala. Okay, in Douala. I would have expected to see that video Arumpo. in the heart of town. I should have seen the man who is Arumpo because even a blind man or any person who has once visited Cameroon and must have passed through Arumpo, what you see that guy who stands up like that, you know this is Arumpo. I would have expected to see him there. But when you have people who think that they can push innocent Cameroonians and lead to what has happened today, that I saw more than 200 parents at Bonanjo crying bitterly, not knowing where their children are. It pains me bitterly, and I want to believe that it, it, it has come to be like an eye opener to Cameroonians. It is going to teach so many people so many lessons that at times some of these politicians just only want to use us. Where is Maurice come to? He was, like I said before, now, Mr. Leo, I said, authoritatively, I cannot confirm whether Maurice Camto was on house arrest. I don't know whether it was an house yeah, arrest. But, but this issue of house arrest, should we still be talking about it? Because, like you said, already we know that before uh, a day like this, you are going to be placed <laughs> under house arrest. Where you know, they, they call him a first strategy. Mm -hmm. Before now, he was supposed to have been able to outwit mm -hmm. the system. Because yeah, you are going to unseat a president. You already know how that system operates. Even while you are under house arrest, mm -hmm. you have the possibility of stepping out of your house and, and creating create 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 a scene, a scene. Mm -hmm. but we but didn't hear a live, a live video because yeah, inside, yeah. inside your house yeah, uh, maybe yeah, at least do a live video let him have a confrontation yeah. struggling to have his way at least we know that he made some effort mm -hmm. to come out and somehow he was rough handled or one of sure. or something happened but, but, but there was nothing to, that happened permit me to say something about yes. mr zonga mr just 30 seconds yeah. about uh, mr Benzonga. Mm -hmm. the video i saw of abezonga mm -hmm. he was matching i'm looking behind you know <laughs> 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 Telling you, and I was in this. I was in that. Is a miss. I saw the most uncharismatic leadership I have ever seen. My brother is a miss. I saw the miss. He won't end. And at one point, at one point, when the crowd was frightened, he ran. You know, and the camera just got blurred. I, I'm saying this, that, and I'm saying that. You know, the, the kind of leadership, truly, yeah. see, seriously, right? That's why I'm saying that. That's why we are saying that. If Camto, if Camto had been there, perhaps the uh, 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 peaceful demonstration would have taken a different flair. 
Mm. But when you see somebody like Aben Zonga <laughs> moving and looking, you know, on his shoulder, <laughs> if uh, the ministry was coming, you know, I was like, oh my God, this is not serious at all. You know, this 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 is not this is not the kind of person to lead a revolution because he was actually le leading a faction of people, uh, protesters mm -hmm. who were moving with him and then feeling very confident. And at the end, he ran. I was like, no, this is not the kind of charismatic leadership that a protest, a massive protest, has to get in order to attain even a quarter of their objective. So I think that uh, 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 what uh, uh, Joel is saying, the Prince Joel is saying that it's really, really uh, important. Yeah, but what can explain uh, the the lack of uh, that this successful coalition? Because we saw before a week before this protest, we saw Abel Zonga with the likes of Alice uh, Kom, uh, Madame Kawala, um, the president of the USDP, Prince Ekoso, uh, Fabrice Lena, and uh, the president Mr. Zhang Dennis, and then. Maybe Modegna. Modegna. We saw Modegna, Modegna, yes. Used to be with us. Yeah. Yeah. What would explain that, that that coalition did not come out? Well, that is what I've been trying to... I, 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 to, to me, Mr. Liu, he, since you brought it up, let's talk about it. But okay. honestly speaking, if Cameroonians are still misled and still uh, uh, deceived at this dispensation where we are, then I think it's another word for insanity. Because there is no political party or a head of a political party who will risk his life knowing that he has a lot to lose. He has to sacrifice the lives of those that he seeks their support from. You have to understand this. And that is why I say I don't believe in opposition, uh, uh, political opposition parties because they cannot fend for their people. Once a man opens a political party, a man has his aim either to negotiate a deal at a certain level with the government or to take power for himself. And he will, he's going to use every strategy in getting his supporters to pay that price for him to stay up there. It's what we have been talking about. So that is not true leadership. It's just, a, it, it, and it's just all about interest. So what I'm saying here is that Cameroonians should understand that it is not the point of staying too long in power. If Cameroonians want to come together, there are many alternatives. You don't need to rally behind Camto who will not go out on the streets to protest. Why can Camto too not say that, okay, let us join and support this government to build it the right way it's supposed to go to, instead of us creating divisions here left and right? Because at the end of the day, Cameroon is stuck with Cameroonians. At the end of the day, it is we Cameroonians that are suffering in the hand of a system which denies its own people. So by creating opposition party doesn't solve the problem here. That's the way I see it. If you look at Europe, it was built by dictators. Europe was built by dictators. We have dictators in Africa today that are doing the right thing. So the question here is not how long you stay in power. The few of them who tried to go against that system, like you saw Mugabe, he had so many uh, economic sanctions. Today you are seeing what the ECOWAS and the UN and the EU are placing uh, uh, sanctions on the... On the uh, 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 in Mali? Uh, 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 in Mali, because they are not wanting to play by that system. And their main aim is putting the system back in place and let the constitution take its place. So we saw that also with Gaddafi. Gagame is also a dictator, but is he doing the right thing? That is what we are trying to say at the end of the day, that we are living in a country where by our history makes us to understand that all this propaganda that we are making noise, be a go, be a come, be a go, be a come, you have never been in that seat. If they put Kamto in that seat, he will do. These are very clear examples. This is a protest that he called for people to go out. And no, there's no picture of any media that has taken of Kamto on that protest yesterday. We only heard that he was taking house arrest. And then you are hearing of people, innocent people, who went out on that behalf because he called. We have seen them on social media. We have seen them on TV. They are behind bars. But where is Kamto we, we, today? We, we, we don't know the way about Kamto. So ask I'm me that if this kind of a man media, takes power, him. if this kind of a man takes power, will he not close the door behind the people who led him, who led him to that place? That is what we are trying to say, Mr. Liu, that let us not overtake the issue of expression of freedom of uh, expression i think that is disrespect of authorities that is the way i see it because at the end of the day the much we try to practice this democracy we realize that it doesn't go with our values because at the end of the day i will still say that if
If we want change in Cameroon, it must not come through a political party. It mustn't. Okay, it must not come. Uh, yes, it mustn't come through a political party, Mr. Liu. Political party. We uh, we need to understand. I want all of us to give our reaction to this. That uh, Professor Maurice Camto, uh, before this uh, manifestation or protest, had hired uh, the services of a, an Amsterdam-based uh, law firm that wrote to the President of the Republic. Um, the protest actually went on yesterday. Many persons today are in different uh, detention centers in Douala, in Yaoundé, and maybe in other uh, parts of uh, this country where people were arrested. Can they? Can their parents and others uh, rest assured that this international firm is going to come to their assistance? Um, or it depends on the. Mm -hmm. It depends no. on if it depends uh, on uh, how um, this the, the victim's family takes it. Because I think it is now time for Maurice Canto to actually showcase his uh, true leadership by making sure that that firm that was hired mm -hmm. gets into work to make sure that these families can get back their children. The children. Mm -hmm. Because if he actually hired a firm and the firm wrote letter making, oh, of course it was like a threaten, it was like threatening the government. Uh, I think it is now time for Maurice come to, to make sure that the firm that he hired should do the work. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want to also comment on what um, uh, Name, please. Andrew. Yeah, and Andrew. That me back home. Yes, he said. Mm. I think that we are in a time where we, we've left that one party system. Mm -hmm. Asking Professor Maurice Camto to go and join uh, the, 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 the CPTM to build Cameroon. It's like we are going back to the, that one party system. And I think it's not, uh, it's not normal. Uh, of course, there will always be some uh, areas in which the opposition will agree, even with the, 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 the ruling party. Uh, and if they agree, fine and good. But I think uh, in Africa we have had some se several dictators. Like he cited some examples of some dictators. When you call somebody a dictator, it's not even a very good name. Uh, I think we should didn't call them dictators. Like if we talk of Paul Kagame, Paul Kagame. He, he is doing a great job in his country. If you get to Rwanda, you see that it's a tra it's an El Dorado. It's tr a transformed nation, and. And it doesn't mean he's like uh, he doesn't allow the people to have their, their rights. So uh, for me, I think that in Cameroon, we need somebody. How will change come? If it's not through a political party, how will change come? Will it come through the gun? Because that's another option. So I think we need a, we need somebody. We need a leader who, who who wants to see change and who is ready to pay the price. I think that's what we should be talking about, not that, um, uh, the f because if you, we're counting the errors of Maurice Camto, the fact that he didn't go out yesterday, that's just one among so many things that others have committed. If you want to count the errors of the ruling party, there are so many too. So if Maurice Camto made an error, I don't think that's a good uh, point to discredit him. That's an error in his, in, in his leadership, which could be corrected and which could be handled. So I think we shouldn't say that change will not come change will not come to Cameroon through a political party I, I disagree with that we, we a political party with clear objectives and um, with good leaders can bring change in Cameroon okay uh, I think uh, Camto wants to be known nationally and internationally trying to have chance after his Excellency president Paul Bia Useni Buba is writing from uh, Yaoundé Mohamedou also writing from Yaoundé say good evening Mr. Liu you are right, uh, the ring leaders did not come to protest except the fearless Fabrice Lena. Camto would have taken some strategies. The old people should go away and let the youth take over politics. My humble suggestions. Okay, good evening to you, Mohamadou, uh, writing from Yaoundé. This one says, thank you, Mr. Liu and panelists. Uh, you asked uh, this ultimate question during the last edition of your program. Who takes responsibility for who? Today, individuals are going around to rescue their family relations, maybe in hospitals or prison yards, who have been trapped in this madness. This call was not a joke and thus was not to be taken for granted. From the government bench, we saw the many press conferences, Cameroonians, uh, to discourage the protest. This thing is more serious than we may see. 
Some who were arrested during the so-called electoral holdup are still in prison. I am sure it is because they don't want to come out, Abi. Kamto was freed one year ago. I pity my fellow brothers and sisters who are in this uh, foolery. Okay. Um, thanks for your interesting program. The truth is that Cameroon has not yet produced the brand of politicians with a vision to change Cameroon. Kamto is, is positioning himself for Cameroon after Bia in the eyes of France. That is his plan. He's not a politician for the people. It is for himself. Thanks. Peter is writing from uh, Limbe. Uh, this, one to, this one says, uh, Good evening, Mr. Liu. I trust social media is that information are uh, true. Uh, you see, within 24 hours, government forces have shot dead five civilians in Bermuda. Okay. Uh, this one, I cannot confirm the information, please. It's not part of our discussion. This one says, Good evening. It's a big girl writing from Boya. Please, you guys should applaud. I say, come to for the wise move. Imagine they played a fast one on the regime. They had to watch over him while sleeping. At least that was a match. That's what is important with without him. Okay, he played the first one. That is, they were watching over him. Uh, I don't know whether Walang will agree to what you are saying. Um, okay. I will look to that one after. Good evening to you guys in the studio. I think the Pan Africanists should know that Camto brought up an idea that uh, the Cameroonian population really needs uh, a change in this country. Prince Ernest is writing from Limbe. But now, let's look across. Uh, I want us to, to look at the leadership and strategy here. Uh, Professor Maurice Camto is said to have been under house arrest. Uh, maybe Ibu Nisak. All those Pindai, headliners. Pindai Koka. Pindai Koka, all of them. Don Christopher. Don Christopher was almost everybody under house arrest. If they knew, why would everybody wait until one week, two weeks before? I, when, I, I, was this I'm, not I'm, where I, was this not where they were, were supposed to show their yeah, know how in yeah. beating uh, the government? Yeah, I'm, I'm eager. I'm eager to you know answer this question because. It raises a problematic. You about are a leadership, leadership. coach. Yeah. That, that's what I mean. It raises a problematic about the leadership capacities of Maurice Cam to himself. Eh? Mm -hmm. You know, if we don't uh, uh, dissect this uh, aspect of Maurice Cam to then, I think we are not being very serious. Mm -hmm. I'll put it very uh, crudely. It is not the first time. It's not the second time. It's not the third. It's not just three, four, five people. I mean, since the C uh, CRM party started. Mm -hmm. Maurice Camto has fallen apart with so many people. I am in fact, some of the names have gone off my head, but there are people that he has called to come and join his coalition and then later they fell off. I hear people like uh, uh, Michel Doki talking against some of the strategies and policies of the party. Mm -hmm. I hear Celestine German, who had come to join him not more than two years ago, talking already against his policies and his strategies. Mm -hmm. I think that, and, and when, when people come to join uh, uh, Maurice Camto, after a period of time, they go away. I know of uh, the famous uh, 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 mayor of uh, Njombe Penja, mm -hmm. Paul Erikinge, who came and joined uh, uh, Maurice Kamto. Now, in leadership, I think it is er erroneous for Cameroonians to think or to say or to conclude that these guys are all bad guys. If it was just one or two individuals who would say that it's a coincidence. But three, four, five, six, we are getting to about ten solid political alliances that are divorcing from the camp, come to this thing, come to camp. I am afraid that there is a problem of leadership. Leadership is about bringing people together and not tearing people apart. If within a short period of time, come to is already having problems. Uh, uh, Mr. Bin, permit me, this falls in line with your, your question. I want to conclude you know, by answering the question. If within a short period of time, come to has fallen apart with this many people, I think it explains that those people who are his uh, 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 close collaborators may not be in close understanding, may not be in understanding with Kamto as far as strategy, as far as policy is concerned. Because it is very shocking that all these people whose names have been called here were not seen during the uh, protest. Assuming that Kamto was under house arrest, Somebody, a, a viewer said that somebody like uh, uh, Fabrice Lena went out briefly. Where are these his core lieutenants? These people who make the core of the party, 
where were they? I think there is a small problem. If they didn't come out, it wasn't much to me, to, from uh, my own assessment, it wasn't much because of fear. It, to me, it was because they failed to understand themselves at a certain level. That is why they were not seen. Because all of them cannot be that cowardly. Uh, uh, cowardly. I think that was a failure of understanding at the, around the leadership of Kamto, around the aura of Kamto himself. That is what, uh, uh, where the, 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 that, that, that's where the problem came from, in my own very, very narrow understanding. Mm. Because if you look at the history of the party, there have been people who come in and go out. I mean, very uh, 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 wonderful alliances that he would have counted on. People that we cannot neglect as far as influence is concerned. Mm. Just look at Paul Eric Kinge, even though we know the history of Paul Eric Kinge mm. and the way he talks. But he's not the only person. And in psychology, we say if you have a problem with two people, the people may be wrong. But if you have a problem with 10 people, then you should start examining yourself. Mm. I think Kamto really, honestly speaking, despite the fact that we support the policy of educating Cameroonians to be able to express themselves through peaceful protest, Kamto should do a round of self-examination. Okay. A very serious one. Self-examination. I want uh, you both uh, to react uh, to... <laughs> You and I practically have not rested since yesterday. We've mm -hmm. gone to almost all the <laughs> January uh, offices here. Can those who we saw today, those young guys, we saw many of them, can they today say that they are very sure this, that this international uh, firm is going to come to the assistance? You be, and, uh, and sure. No, no. Uh, generally, I would say a very big no. A very big no because Ms. Aliu, before now, uh, said that. In fact, you and I since we're together since yesterday, a lot of Cameroonians are in police custody. So many, not one, not two. And the thing is that in everything, there are always what they call scapegoats. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some of the Cameroonians who have been held, who maybe come from well-to-do families, that their family members can maybe negotiate a lawyer to speed up their release. Mm -hmm. Now what about somebody who doesn't even have money to get a lawyer? What about somebody who does not even know the whereabouts of where the child is? Because given the atmosphere as of now even, you don't expect, when I went to Mbopi, when I went to Mbopi yesterday, there was a guy in uniform who said openly in French, but the visit is he. No visit, you don't visit people here. When we're looking for somebody. So I want to put, and I even felt that at least I was somebody that maybe I felt that I could be welcome after presenting myself that, hey, good morning, my super journalist. But I want to look at one mother who will not even know how to go and start introducing herself, herself to the, 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 if we could. Yeah, we chased, in, spite, in spite of these uh, difficulties, can this international law firm uh, come? What, what, what was the Leo, essence Leo, Leo, of that's, that's, yeah. That, yeah, but I was coming to this. I want to say that even when Maurice Kanto and his, those who were with him, were arrested, which international community and international lawyer did not talk? They were, the AU has said this, the this has said that, this has said that. But at the end of the day, it only came at the convenience of the president to release them. So it tells you that those who were arrested yesterday, I don't see any international community, and even if, that's another major thing, and even if these lawyers that they say they were contacted are going to come in to release them, question number one, how many people were arrested yesterday? Because the, the, the case of, of Camto, you and I know very well that there were people who were arrested alongside the Camtos. But during the release, what I noticed is that it is only the big, big heads, the big names, the Michel Dokis, the Celestin Germans, that were picked out and sent. Okay? Now, what about somebody whose name wasn't known? That person should still be in, 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 in the cell now. Mm -hmm. So even if they were to come and defend, which I know it will not happen, I'm already sure about that, even if they were to come and defend, who are those who were arrested. It means as of now, people should be identified because if you go on social media platforms now, there are lists of persons supposedly mm. that were... Most of those big names were not arrested uh, seemingly. 
Sure. So I, I'm saying that no, we have not seen any there. We, well, Mr. Lowe, we are living in a social media era. Mm -hmm. We are not in the 1990s when the social uh, the SDA was created. For instance, that when you kill somebody in Tarukona, what happened during when they were launching the SDF? That somebody in Douala would know. Today, if any of these leaders were arrested, it would not have taken us two seconds to know where and who is. I give an example of somebody whom I will call to an extent. I know, I will not say a friend, who was arrested. I know where he is, where he was arrested. I'm talking about a militant mm -hmm. of the CRM. So he is known because at least he is somebody who has been on TV platforms and it is known. What about now those innocent children who are maybe who maybe found themselves because you know there is normally youthful exuberance who maybe heard that people were going out and maybe was just in the crowd. What will be done to ensure that these children come out? That is my major headache. Andrew, um, what is your take? Was there a need? Can we today stand tall and uh, say there was a good reason for Professor Maurice Camto to do? to hire the services of this international law firm? Are they going to do the lobbying out there for the guys who have been taken in Cameroon? I think it's just, uh, <coughs> it's just, he, he sees probably he thinks Cameroonians are fools. You go and hire an international law firm to come and intervene in which court in Cameroon <laughs> or to take the matter to which court. I think that is, uh, it's, not, it's not making, it's not adding up at all. You see, but at the at the end of the day, if Cameroonians or he has been able to lure Cameroonians to believe that since the SDF and many other opposition parties are quiet, it seems to be he's the only vibrant one. I remember there was a, a message that you got sometime of a, an individual in Nigeria who warned Cameroonians to be careful because they have not known the hidden agenda of Camto. You don't just hear because he has a, a, a political party, he says he wants to bring change, and then people begin to rush behind him. My question here is that, is it Kamto who has to remind Cameroonians of a change? That is where the question is. Is it Kamto who needs to tell Cameroonians and get them off from bed and say, you people need a change? That is madness. He's not talking to children. Yeah, but he's a, he's, 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 he's a leader of a political party. I am not refusing that. And that is the more reason I will say that a leader, as in leadership, I have seen in many places. You, if, you, if, you, if you watch stories and you look at history, those leaders have been at the forefront and putting their life day and night for that change. Without the house arrest, I'm sure he would have done that. Well, uh, I think that is a very good excuse for him because in, in every strategy, when you are you, you seem to be dealing with an opponent who is very wise, you should be able, you should also be able to build better strategies. My point here is that Camto has been sleeping in different hotels apart from his house. Why must it be that that same day he chose to stay in his house, knowing that the state will come visit him and keep him at home so that he doesn't go out? So that is where my logic is. I'm not saying he may not have had the intentions to go out. But even knew at one point that he had been taken at house arrest, he should have halted that protest. The, the, the protester who went out and said, go back home because I cannot come out. You cannot let them go out and then you stay back and give an excuse under the pretext that you have been taken on house arrest. A good question here is calling on people to boycott the regional elections. Isn't it? Because he is not going in. So when he was not coming out, it was his place to use that opportunity and tell the people that don't go out because I'm not coming. Because if you go out, you won't find me there. So this is what I'm trying to say. Now, coming back to, to I, I, I want to establish something here, Mr. Liu, because if I hear uh, the, the, the apostle or the man of God is talking about change, 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 change. At the end of the day, they say what a man dreams and gets up in the morning becomes a nightmare. It's the same thing we saw today in the Anglophone region. People began getting up and saying, change, 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 change. Now people want to reverse it back. So when we seek for certain things, we should be very careful what we are looking for. If we talk about democracy and we talk about the one-party system that does not function, that we are living in the modern time. You see, this is the modern time that has been destroying us, and yet we cannot still make our way forward. If you want to look at our system many years ago, it was even better than the modern time. You go at that level, as I still say, that the one-party system actually works, because that is a system that controls the entire world. 
the five members that forms the, the UN National Security Council, it's like a one party. They are never voted out. There's no election ever conducted for these five parties to ever be replaced. They are there and they are the one controlling the whole world and asking the governments of the world to practice democracy whereby parties will come up and then vote and the majority will take power. My question here is that if America practices democracy or France practices democracy because England doesn't, Russia doesn't, China openly doesn't. It is America and China that seems to be deceiving the world that they are practicing democracy. Why does election not take place up there? It must take place under the, 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 the countries which they have been able to member in the United Nations. But elections doesn't take up there. No vote. People don't ever go out to elect the five members that are supposed to be at the level of the UN National Security Council. And the head office is in America. So what am I simply trying to say here is that the one-party system is actually what is ruling the world today. So it's not, it's not because we have a one party. In that same party, I'll use the word party, not as a political party, we can always choose who next to lead. You, you want, are, you, are, you, are you wanting Cameroon to be likened to what obtains in China, where we have a communist uh, party that has just a change in leadership? Mr. Liu, I'll say it in my simple terms. Let Cameroonians apply what works for them. Let Cameroonians not try to use a system which destabilizes its nation. Let us learn to redefine what fits the context of each nation and apply that for your own country. And let that be the decision for your own country because at the end of the day, we seem to be always questioning for, I have seen Mr. Liu in the, in the context of democracy in the Western world where mm -hmm. Uh, 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 homosexuals, lesbians, bisexuals, they go out to protest that they want the government to put in the constitution that they have the right to have certain equal opportunities. That's just the right way to put. And they go out and protest in the name of democracy. That is what democracy is bringing in our society. So what I'm saying here is that the, the aspect of us trying to 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 look at okay. life the way the way that we, we think is is working in the western nation mr Leo, let me be honest here i think this is very important for the cameroonians to understand democracy has not worked for europe know this today democracy has not worked it was julius malema who began accusing america for the responsibility of the death of joyce floyd in europe today europe has a major crisis which has to do with migration because a lot of immig uh, uh, immigrants that now reside today in, in, in Europe, that makes almost a majority. Seem now Europe seems to be losing its culture, and Europe does not have a fertility rate, its incest drop. So Europe is now having a problem whereby it's losing its culture, and its population is dying away. And now they are finding a need that the African uh, uh, countries should develop so that people don't find needs to run again back to Europe because Europe is collapsing. So I'm saying here that the system they have there is a system where when they put in place, when that you are appointed as a president, you don't change that system. You only come to gear to the, the direction which they are telling you. Okay. But that is not how a leadership is supposed to be. Leadership is supposed to be based on inspiration. And what the African man has always believed is that, and that's what we see today in churches, get up today and become a strong prophet. Everybody runs behind you because they feel that you are a strong man. You can take them somewhere. So it has been in our culture whereby even in the village, in our chief tenancy, in our culture, we realize that there must always be a strong man who has very good principles that guide his people. So I'm saying here that democracy is a system okay. which will never bring peace in Cameroon and will never let the jihadists leave Africa or leave Cameroon. Okay. The jihadists are hanging around our borders is because of democracy, because they know that it is a system which kills the culture of the people. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> please, 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 one second. Just 10, ten seconds, please. Okay. Just permit me. I think, I think we should be uh, a little moderate with the way we look at uh, issues. The society is evolving. Europe of today is not Europe of uh, yesterday. You know, uh, yesterday. America of today is not America of yesterday. Same like Cameroon. When we talk of democracy, you know, like uh, going to kill uh, uh, the culture of Africa or African countries, I think we should be a little moderate with the way we uh, okay. discuss uh, Please, please, let me, it's 10 seconds, please. So when we, talk, when we talk of that, I think we should be a little moderate because there is a tendency, taking the context of Cameroon, there is a tendency for the aristocracy to continue to sit on top of the people in the name of 
supporting the fight or how do I put it, fact that democracy is not good for Africa mm -hmm. or for Cameroon, uh, 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 the Cameroonian uh, system. We should look for a system that works. But a system that works is a system that promotes the growth of institutions and not persons. Let's be careful. Institutions that are strong and powerful will guarantee the growth of Africa. But people who are strong and powerful, they will follow them, but at one time they will collapse and then everything will be lost. Uh, I think we should Okay, when you look at Pan-Africanists, mm -hmm. you see that they, they, they always fall in this trap, always blaming the West for what is happening in their countries. Mm -hmm. That's their tactics. And they are always saying the problem is over there. They don't look at where the problem is. And when you operate like that, you allow uh, nonsense, let me put it this way, <laughs> to keep going on while you are accusing other the people West, who are yeah. responsible. For instance, if you are in, you, you talk about Cameroon leadership, the people are hungry. It's not the system created by the West, by the West that is making the people to be hungry. It is because we have people who are occupying positions who are not functioning as they, are, the, as they ought to. Mm -hmm. So wait, let's look. Let's look at where the problem is, and the problem is here, not over there. Okay, the problem is here and not over and there. Not over there. So mm -hmm. I think that Cameroonians should be able to believe, to give their trust in people that they have seen, that have inter having the concern, the interest mm -hmm. in seeing changes in Cameroon established. Okay. If we don't do that, then we're going to continue to be under torture we are because going to, the okay. people who are in place have put a machinery that all those who are down there will continue to suffer and it looks like only their children will get up the next day and take over those beautiful positions while the man down there will continue to suffer forever so exactly. things have to change if we don't exactly. rise to change things i'm sure that the next generation will feel will, 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 will suffer feel mm -hmm. okay um uh, prince joel we uh, uh, professor maurice uh, kanto has uh, reacted um to the the, the protest uh, that took place across the nation yesterday he's saluting the efforts of those who uh, came out uh, yesterday he is saying that that is the beginning of a process a series of protests uh, to come do you feel comfortable are you expecting uh, more <coughs> violent uh, more intense outings in the days weeks ahead I don't think so, Mr. Liu. I actually stumbled on that communique where he is saying that it's going to continue till the 6th of December 2020. That's until regional mm -hmm. elections. We are still in September. It means mm -hmm. he's talking about four months. I don't think so, Mr. Liu. The Englishman makes it very clear, once beaten, twice shy. You don't expect a child who has been held, taken from Bonaberry, for instance, to Mbopi, to Lejo, mm. to come out again and say, all right. Because, you know, at times, what spurs somebody to do something is either the positive or the negative story you tell the person. I want to believe that if those who have been held are even given the clemency to come out, do you know what mm. they're going to tell their friends? Bo, not ever try him again. You understand? And... Let me even come to the level of the profession that, that I find myself inside. Look at the molestation that was given to the guy in Yaoundé. Even after he said, je suis journaliste dans tel chain, he said it. If you listen to that video, because I actually listen to the report, he told the uniform guy who arrested him, je suis journaliste et je pratique dans tel chain. The response he got from the uniform guy is, et puis quoi, nous sommes au Cameroun. That's a response. Now, look at the case of a colleague, Tamai Javis and Kembo Christian, who are actually still in custody. Do you think that Javis will ever even, in the 20 years to come, hear that maybe only two people are fighting in the quarter? No. <laughs> Do you think that even in 20 years, I don't mean in four months, I don't mean that maybe after, that Javis, Will because thanks to the persons who have assisted that we finally saw him where he is the Javis I saw, the position I saw him, the nature in which he is within just 24 hours. <laughs> oh, Cameroon.
tells you that if Javis comes out and hears that even two people are fighting in the quarters, that will go and cover you. No, but I mean two people fighting. I don't mean the crowd that the crowd is even going out. So everything that Professor Maurice comes through is saying, to me, he, he, he's just like, he just wants to be animating the gallery. You don't expect that people who have been arrested should come out and tell positive stories. Mr. Lou, if we even go history, in, the, in history, you will agree with me that one of the, 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 the reasons that led to nationalism and the independence of African countries was the success story of Africans who went to Europe and came back as ex-combatants, as fighters. Because they discovered, there was first of all this myth that the white man could not die, the white man could not sleep, the white man was this. But when these ex-fighters came back to Africa, they told their brothers, brother white man, you see, and so you to the die, you to the chop, you to the shit. Because there was this myth that we had. And behold, Ghana took the courage and Ghana came out as the first African country to gain its independence. So those who have been held, that's the first. Secondly, the feedback that we are having today, just 24 hours after, Mr. Liu, I want to say, it is true Cameroonians have their courage, and some may come out. But I want to feel that what I've seen, the different persons have been arrested, I don't, in my own opinion, it's my opinion, and every person has his, but I don't feel that Cameroonians or some people again, may actually take that courage to come out again if Professor Maurice Camto calls them to come out. Uh, well, Evan, um, do you have the same feeling? Um, do you see the leaders of the CRM uh, going back to the drawing board and then learning their lessons and coming out uh, more powerfully? Yeah, I think that, you know, I've made it abundantly clear that I would have been more inspired if I saw a Maurice Camto leading the protest and uh, I know for sure like uh, the anecdote that uh, Prince Joel gave about uh, the coming back of uh, Professor Maurice Camto from the US and uh, his uh, visit to other countries in Europe that the crowd came out it was spontaneous. I think I personally think that if Maurice Camto came out to lead the protest yesterday the impact would have been felt greater it would have been greater than what we saw yesterday that is number one. Number two, I think that if he had come out to lead the protest, the people who have been arrested and who are still in detention so far, their situation would have been mitigated with more ease than it is today. Because just his personality being in the, this thing, in the uh, mass protest and perhaps being arrested or not being arrested would have given a weight to the protest. But he was not there. So it looks like the people who have been protesting are on their own now. You know, now, yeah, 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 <laughs> see, yeah, yeah, own. seriously, it looks like the people they're who have been protesting. And, and to come back to the famous uh, law firm, that's politics, the Amsterdam law firm of, uh, in Canada, that is politics. I am not sure that the Am uh, Amsterdam law firm in Canada can engage itself to actually come and liberate every little person who has been uh, arrested in the quarters. No, it's not possible. Now, to take stock, Perhaps uh, 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 Professor Maurice Camto will learn a lesson. Like I said, please, let's not get this wrong. It is the absolute right mm -hmm. of Cameroonians to express themselves through protest, through the right to assemble, to have meetings, express their opinions. It is their right. Let nothing, you know, stop them from exercising this right. When they want to freely exercise it. So I think that Maurice Camto has engaged in a game that is educative. Even if the, I, I, like I said from the beginning, even if the mass protest was a failure, it gave the government a Cameroon, of Cameroon a run for their money. There was a lot of activity that took place. Mm -hmm. And even the government is going to sit down and take stock of what happened. And they will ask the question, what actually took us here? And some of uh, 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 Mr. Bean, let me remind Cameroonians that in 1991, prior to the uh, uh, tripartite, the SDF did a series of protests where even me, John Frunzi, went out with many uh, 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 CPD, uh, uh, sorry, SDF militants. They went out on peaceful protest. 
the, I remember time even the television showed it when this mummy water po, uh, spread water on uh, Nick John Frunzi. So there were these moments of tension that brought the government now to its uh, uh, a reasonable pr platform and say we have to dialogue. What Kamto is doing is extremely constitutional. If it doesn't violate the rights of uh, citizens, meaning if they don't go destroying property, it is extremely constitutional. I think that such moves are essential for the government to see the process of development is not just a short one where we say, you know, this reform has been uh, made, period, we're not, to, we're not going to do anything again. It is a continuous process. And sometimes it is important to know that the government needs to undergo certain pressure to for them to make a move, for them to shift. So Camto is doing something that is constitutionally right, but they should not violate the rights of uh, uh, individuals by breaking property okay. and doing uh, uh, other uh, disastrous let, things. Let me take this uh, one from uh, Ngong Aivo. Um, she works with uh, Tiko Community Radio. Good evening to you, um, Mr. Ngong. They call you Chief of Lower, uh, no, Middle Muya. Good evening, Mr. Kum and the panelists. What a nice show, just like what uh, the Reverend is saying. Where was Kamto and Kawala during yesterday's protest? Kamto would have had a plan B to come out and march to prove to the world that he is a leader. To me, Professor Kamto wants to gain international fame. And the protest came in at the time when the UN is meeting. To say the truth, no opposition party will ever remove a president from his seat without the population and the military. Once again, uh, tell the journalist who is a panelist uh, sure. that he is... Uh, <laughs> what is he saying about uh, Tad Chavis? Okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Kum. Uh, good evening, my media prime. I'm enjoying your program, but let the government release the young journalist Tad Mai Javis. I'm Lawson King, writing from uh, Kumba. Thanks. We are all praying to see Chavis uh, liberated in the days, in the in the in the in the in the, in the seconds, in the minutes, in the us and uh, yes ahead good evening mr liu i did not see Kamto's children and family members in the streets they are brought enjoying for others to go and die okay um good evening uh, guys i'm gabe eric from kong samba i like your program it's interesting my question is that all this drama that Kamto is playing how are we sure that he is not doing it for his own good and the family he might be worse than the president okay many of such uh, questions keep coming um, the future protests announced by professor maurice Camto. are they going are they going to better organize themselves is it going to work i i don't see it being uh, very successful mm -hmm. looking at uh, if it has to work then they have to do a really a quick work mm -hmm. that is they have to say the people mm -hmm. and even sensitizing the people I don't see it bearing so much fruit because mm -hmm. people are already gripped with fear that's the truth and to remove that fear from the hearts of people is not going to be a day's job you can, they can go and preach whatever they want to preach on social media but the actions on the ground that day I'm sure people will not come out mm -hmm. uh, I think if people have to come out maybe um, it, you must be sure that as they come out they will not be brutalized but if the government is still going to continue with these intimidation strategies mm -hmm. i don't see the people coming out so i think they should sit down <coughs> and revisit their strategy maybe uh, protesting will not bear fruit maybe let them see from which angle they can come up with new strategies to actually speak to the government but if it is through uh, street, uh, street protests i'm sure that uh, people are already scared People will not want to come out. People don't want to risk their life. You know, one thing that we have seen in Cameroon so far is that we Cameroonians, to be tr honest, we don't like to sacrifice. We are so used to our enjoyment that we want to sit, eat our fish, mm -hmm. drink our beer, <laughs> and wait for what tomorrow has to offer. Mm -hmm. Unlike other African countries, I think here it, we have a lot of food here, and and I'm sure that's it's playing also a positive uh, role. I've gone out of Cameroon, I've gone to other countries where to eat is very difficult. If you look at the plate of food sold elsewhere, it's very expensive, you know. 
and you don't even find this variety we have here in Cameroon. So I'm sure that this is playing a very interesting role in in, uh, in maintaining Cameroonians peace. Are not, are People, Cameroonians are calm, they are peaceful, they don't want to sacrifice. And we don't know that for us to get anything, we must be ready to sacrifice. Yeah, but does that not tie with what uh, Anvin said earlier on, that we should fashion our democracy, our way of life, according to the way we see things. Do you know that in uh, when you go to other African countries, they look at us to be fools. Okay. In fact, if you say you are a Cameroonian in Nigeria, they say you are fools. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, they'll say you are fools because but you, are, you understand are. why somebody has been in power for more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. the only bright person there. Mm -hmm. So well, the truth is that we, by, by our nature, we we don't we don't want to pay the price. Okay, we, we are ready. To and I think that to an extent, what he's saying, what I was trying to say is that most often when we have problems in in Africa, uh, they, they will say it's the white man, it's the West. We I are think not ready to take our. We don't. We don't we're not ready to take our responsibility. For instance, if we were fine, if Cameroon was fine, if it was not a country where only the rich and the influential have a place, I'm not sure the people would be agitating. Mm -hmm. If everybody was enjoying this country there will be no problem okay but if we have a system that is not working for the good of the people then we must stand up to see that this system goes away for for for, for a system to be established mm -hmm. he pointed out something which he said about a, a prophet you know i'm i'm a man of god i would like to say something as far as that is concerned he said that if a strong man gets up today you find people rallying behind him it is true but it will not last because if you look at it very well you see there's a difference between the catholic church and the, the Pentecostal churches. I'm a Pentecostal. The Catholic Church will last for a very long time. You know why? Because they have put in place structures. And when you come in, you follow those structures. You cannot come out of those structures. And that's why till tomorrow you find them. But unlike in the Pentecostal church, a prophet will just come up, establish his ministry, and he builds worship around him. When he disappears, that ministry disappears. Africa has had strong men like Idi Amin Dada, and other dictators who have what did they do to change Africa? Okay, they but plunged Kagame, us Kagame, into darkness. Yeah, but Kagame, rather, Kagame, Kagame, so we should not be talking Kagame, about strong men, we should Kagame be talking about strong his institutions. He's changing institutions too. Yes, but Kagame, Kagame is doing great. Gaddafi did great for, for Libya. I'm sure the president Obiangema is doing great for his nation. He is doing great. And that's what I'm saying that if a leader is doing great, people, when well, people are enjoying, people are, are having a nice time. Okay. Why, why would they be fighting? Yeah, why looking, would they be you, killing you one looking, another? You are looking think, beyond that leader. Yes. Okay. Because after that, things have to continue. Okay. Continuity must be enhanced. Okay. MRC and Camto would change Cameroon. The process has just started. Uh, Malio is writing from uh, Tombel. This one says, uh, "Good evening. I love your program. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, stop calling. Uh, please respect the way we talk of." If a youth today can say there are no position leaders in Cameroon and saying that one party system is good, it means you have uh, no ambitions. Ashu is writing from Manfi. Good evening to you, Ashu. Uh, this one says, uh, Good evening, I love your program. Joy writing from Kumba. Good evening to you, Joy. Hello, I'm Favor from Bamenda. My question is, Why are you disturbing? Okay. Uh, this is Alex Ngonuga. I follow the debate and find it very interesting. Most panelists hold the opinion that uh, come to ought to have been at the forefront. My question to them is this. Uh, the infinite ghost town and lockdowns in the northwest and southwest have persisted despite no real frontline leaders. I don't think Kamto's much fear because of his absence. Okay. Um, good evening. Mr. Leo Kanto knows a today where Bia lives. He should rally a match pass at a today uh, to send Bia okay, away. Good evening, Mr. Leo. I like your program. Yes, Mr. Kanto has done what he wanted. Many persons told Cameroonians not to go out. Let all who are in detention. Mother and father go to Mr. Kamto house now and ask for him to go and remove them. All the detention come, remove all their children. Ngu is writing from Moliko. Okay, good evening. Uh, from Kevin Eno. Please don't understand Kamto. He just wrote his name 
in history. And as for the law firm he claims he hired may just be spies for him, there may be something bigger behind. In politics, there must be sacrifices. Whether he was there or not, people would have still lost their lives. Okay. Um, good evening to the panelists. Good evening to all the panelists in the studio. Mr. Leo, there is no democracy in Cameroon. The whole process is a scam. Mark Fish writing from my four in Limbe. Uh, Mr. Leo, please read my message. Hey, stop talking about Professor Kamto going out to protect when President declared war. Was he in the front war? Nestor is writing from a Kondo city. Nestor, I've written, I've read your message. Hey, good evening. It's divine, I believe. I think uh, you guys should rather be condemning the acts by the government instead of talking of Kamto, who meant up the something for change. Stop being hypocrites, okay? Uh, Good evening, I'm enjoying the program, and I pray you people to hold it like that. It's efficient, writing from uh, Boya. Good evening, Mr. Liu. The day Kanto stepped out of prison, leaving some of his party members there, is the day he missed it. Cameroonians no longer trust him. Bisong, Are writing from uh, Kumba. Uh, if you people say that democracy can't work in the country, how can you hear the cry of your people if there is no uh, democracy? Um, Mr. Liu, I'm back again. Please, I would like to contribute by saying that mindful of the fact that this platform is a community education forum, please just for education purpose, the five permanent members of the UN Security Council are there because of their absolute ability to control and manage the possession of nuclear arsenals and have a great level of respect for human rights. I think democracy has worked in some countries and it is very mm -hmm. essential in every society in as much as no nation practices complete uh, democracy. Whitson is writing from Boya. Good evening. Mr. Liu, where is the kangaroo man? My name is Marcel, writing from Ako. <laughs> Mr. Liu, where is Ibako Bison from? Um, no, um, he will tell you where he's from. Emmanuel writing from Tico says, even if Mr. Kamto slept in a hotel, he should have still been kept in that hotel since he announced the so-called outing. He has been monitored. Thanks. Okay, Mr. Ebako, um, let's look into this call for, for protests uh, to continue. Um, do you think it is also good for our, our democracy to keep pressure on the government? Well, we have shared different views we've shared different opinions and we have disagreed and we have agreed. The one thing I want to say to, <clears throat> to Cameroonians is that we are not opposing people not to protest. It is every human being's right to have an atmosphere to express his or her thoughts or grievances in any society. But it should come as a natural thing. It shouldn't be as something that is, is being spearheaded by an individual who seeks to instigate people under the context that he is a savior to save Cameroon from what I do not know because I still do not understand the vision. If he had made the vision clearly known and written, we can understand that this is where Kamto wants to take Cameroonians to. Today, the Cameroonians are behind bars, those that protested, and those who want the protest to keep going on. The ones that did yesterday are behind bars. And if Kamto is really a leader, I think that yesterday was not the right time for him to go out. Today or tomorrow, or even the day next or next week, it's still viable for Kamto to go out and show his braveness by replacing or taking the place of those people who have been tormented. Let him openly tell the government that instead of locking these people or beating these people, I want to take that beating as we saw Jesus who took the beating because of the sins of his people and took a place and died because of his people he wanted to save. So this is a good opportunity for Kamto to use now that people are in captivity to say, okay, I want to step into their shoe and let them go out because it is because of me that they took this place, but we are not hearing that. So Kamto still has that opportunity 
to make the call to the government to take the place of those protesters who went out yesterday. That is <laughs> number one, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Liu. Number two is that ever since 1960, today we talk about 60 years under the context of democracy. We have had two presidents over 60 years, and we have still not been able to remove the diapers which the colonial master put on us. And we are talking of going out to protest. My question here is, does Kamto calling Cameroonians to go out and claim their sovereignty whereby they will have the right to self-determination? I would have gone out. Even if Kamto would not go out, tell Kamto that that is not your call. It's a personal call for every human being that God has created, that he has the right to self-determination, to be able to charter his own destiny. But Cameroonians want to still live in the place of managing. You just want to be able to manage, have the freedom to do what you want to do, and yet somebody still decide your own destiny. And that is why I say that. You, you made a statement. I don't want to go deep into it because that is not the subject of the matter. You talk about Pan-Africanists. It is a Pan-African view that is shaping Africa the way it is today. If the president of Ghana is taking Ghana to an independent currency, it's because they have the Pan-Africanist mentality. So I don't want to go into the point of uh, 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 like, 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 uh, like what you talk about, um, uh, uh, the one-party system. That's what we see in the church. A pastor can live there for 30 years. He's never replaced, never voted out in that church, and still leads people, and no church member complains. And I'm surprised to see whereby pastors are expecting a change or other leaders to come and protest for a government to come out of the place throughout one part, one party a political head who calls people to go and oust a president. So I'm not saying that Mr. Liu is wrong for people to go out to protest. It is a God-given right for every human being. I have cited the example in Mali. The Malians did not go out because a political party made a call. It is true that in every revolution, somebody takes a lead. An Islamic political leader did. It's a... not under a political party. I have been in that intervention in Mali. And that is why the UN and the AU, the United Nations, was unable to do anything about Mali because it is the population that decided to oust the president. And the military only came to medium or to mediate that transition. Okay. So okay. that is what I'm saying, Mr. Okay. Liu. If you permit me, please, just to learn. We are, we are out right. of time. We are, we are already out of time. Yes, okay. uh, the civil society uh, did it in uh, Sudan. The civil society did it in Burkina Faso. <laughs> and uh, seemingly, it is a civil society, and then uh, the military comes in. But uh, what next? The, the Guardian Post is asking the question. Just two minutes, because we are out of time. What next after September uh, 22nd? The idea is in the in the, the, I think what next the, the person who can best answer this question it's is the person who initiated the move of 22 September. No, you already is calling for. Pre or? That's why I'm saying that one to me. What next? I cannot predict. Mm. The person who initiated and he's saying people should continue has the what next. Okay, what next? Every church has its politics. I just want to answer <laughs> him because this is very important. Every church has its politics. Okay, and of course in different churches with different denominations. Way they position their pastors. Some pastors stay in some places for two years, and after that, they transfer them to different places. That is how some churches manage their pastors. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, if you are in a place for a long time and you're producing results, and the people who are under you feel blessed and they, they keep being inspired by you, I think there's no problem. That's what we just talked about. That if somebody has been there for a long time, like we talked of Paul Kigami, mm -hmm. he's been doing well, his people like him. If you look at some houses that were constructed in some villages, you see that that is a man who is thinking about his people. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about dictators who are there uh, 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 making the people to go through suffering, pains, and then we, when we talk of change, some people will get up and say, no, we should be talking about change because okay. we need to pro promote one party system. It's not, that's not, it doesn't what, make sense. What next? One minute. Uh, uh, yes, one uh, what next on the uh, both uh, uh, sides? One for the uh, come to side leadership. I think that if there has been failure, because if uh, there has been any failure, the tech stock, they will be able to account for failures that you know they have witnessed uh, in this uh, protest. Mm -hmm. So leadership, I think they should work on their, 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 their leadership capacity, the ability to bring people together, and the ability to review their strategies on the part of the government. Mm -hmm. Also, the government should also review its strategy. The, 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 the issue is the government should understand the society is evolving. It is the absolute right like uh, Mr. Ibako said, it's the God-given right for the people to protest. 
when they feel that they have grievances to express. So the government should also understand that these people that they are arresting and keeping there, they are violating the God-given rights and the constitutional rights of these people that they are keeping. And for, uh, for the sake of serenity in a country, these people should be released. It is their absolute right. I think that is all I have to say. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, us here at uh, the My Media Prime uh, television, all the staff, almost everybody is uh, praying uh, for the release of its workers. We have a journalist and a cameraman, Christopher and Tamai uh, Javis, who are still under uh, custody. We hope uh, that uh, very soon they are going to be released so they come back to work and uh, continue to serve the communities to serve Cameroon in all objectivity. We want to thank uh, you, Walan, for coming all the way from Boya. Mm -hmm. It's always a pleasure to be here. I look forward to being here again as many times as possible. Thank you. Andrew, thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Mr. Liu, and thanks to all the Cameroonians who have uh, participated in this, in this uh, program. And we also want to send our condolences to those who have uh, who have died in the northwest and in the southwest on both sides we send condolences to their family thank you very much thank, for panelists thank you to you pastor chris uh, it's a, it's a pleasure every time we have the opportunity to be here to speak some constructive uh, stuff we'll always be there and uh, also thank you to you <laughs> It's always a pleasure being on board, Mr. Liu. Special good evening to Yaga Ines who watched us in Mutengeni and to Lord Kinder Simon who watched in Mr. Liu. Okay. And uh, greetings to all of you who watched uh, the program. We are going to continue praying for the release of our colleagues so that uh, they come back. We thank you to the production team who have been working tirelessly to make sure that we serve Cameroonians. We call want to thank uh, the management of uh, this uh, television house, who, which has not slept since yesterday to ensure that uh, Tamai Jabis and uh, Christopher are released. We hope that uh, they effectively are released. We call want to say thank you to the Cameroon Association of English Speaking Journalists, which has also been working tirelessly, and uh, the Cameroon Journalist Trade Union, who are all also are working very hard uh, with our our media house to ensure that nothing bad happens to our colleagues stay blessed bye bye